Hi and welcome to this course. My name is Michael Hilkemeyer and I help teachers manage ICT in the classroom. And today I'm going to show you management strategies to help you develop student capabilities in your classroom, plus the expertise you need to organize learning and promote 21st century thinking. Before you get started on this course, I would like you to reflect for 30 seconds or so, and to write down the top three ways you would manage ICT or technology in your classroom. The top three ways that you would manage ICT or technology in your classroom. Let's begin with the first strategy, keep technology transparent. This is the ultimate aim in developing student ICT capability. They become so focused on using ICT as a tool for learning that they're hardly uh, able to notice that they're using it in the first place. So what you need to do is to equip the students sufficiently with the experience to enable them to use ICT without having to stop and think. For example, if you are typing something up with a word processor, you would hardly have to search for the relevant letter on the keyboard there because you have already surpassed that stage. So you need to be able to provide that same experience with the students there. Welcome back to the final session in this course in keeping students focused on IT. Well, now I'm going to show you how having a backup plan can help you run lessons smoothly. Let's face it, with technology, nothing, nothing is certain that it's going to ever work. There will always be the potential for breakdowns, for computer crashes, for students to have forgotten their username or passwords and so on and so on. So, my first bit of advice would be to make sure you speak to the school technician beforehand and, and make sure that, that all the computers, all the technology that you want to use is working and that all the software that you want to use is available. Another way you can also use your technician is to perhaps ask them to be there at the start of the lesson so that when the students do start getting onto the computers they are there and they can get onto that problem straight away. So that's the first bit of advice. The next bit I'll cover in the next session.